far, but his guys are looking for him to change that right here. Yeah, nothing better than coming through for the boys. Uh, just a sec now as that ball finds its way into the outfield, a base hit. And the run is in to score as they'll grab the lead here, 2-1. to one. And they get the force for the second out. Last Friday, I got the code from Sony for MLB The Show 19. This is the AAA baseball franchise that Sony San Diego has been making for PlayStation consoles for a long time. They've got the exclusive rights to make AAA games based on MLB, and they never really squander that. Just like Visual Concepts never really lets us down with the NBA 2K franchise, Sony San Diego really tries to maintain a quality bar and deliver something really solid. But I'll tell you why I love playing the show games every year, because it signifies spring. Spring is here. I can start taking my jacket off. The snow has stopped, at least here in Vancouver. The blossoms are out. I think you can see some blurry blossoms behind me. And it is just a wonderful time of year. And there's also this kind of momentum that we're heading into E3. And we're going to find out about all of the awesome new stuff that's coming out and all the summer movies. It's all coming, right? All this entertainment. And I feel like it's kind of like a warmer Christmas signifier, you know? Like all of this fun entertainment is on our way. And it's preceded by this wonderful baseball journey. And actually in the zone. I think what I want to kind of just relay is I've played every day since I got it and I've been having a blast. I've played online, I've played a lot of my single player sort of experiential stuff, I've played some of the uh, Road to the Show which feels like it's taking a page out of the NBA 2K book a little bit more. There's a little bit more of a branching dialogue tree that's happening and what you do when you start the Road to the Show is you pick a bunch of skill sort of ideas. You can be a maverick or the heart and soul of a team or you can focus on becoming the captain of the team. Based on those decisions at the beginning of the game, you're given dialogue branching that you can uh, attribute to your player and it starts to change the relationships that the player has with the coaches and the other teammates and the people that you're going to be playing against, which is pretty damn rad. So you get sort of sucked into the world of this player that you've created and the social media kind of life that they create for themselves and the relationships that they have within the game. Amazing. I mean, if you could talk to the uh, to, to the young me sitting there playing, uh, you know, baseball on the old Atari 2600, that someday in the future we would be having conversations in locker rooms with the different characters that we create in a baseball game. It's just mind-blowing. So you've got your road to the show, which is the true RPG experience. You can march to October, which I think is probably the most wonderful wonderful addition to the game for someone like me. It kind of makes the game feel like it could have a subtitle, MLB The Show 19, Baseball for Busy People, because it really feels like Sony San Diego has said, look, we want to let you try to have like a campaign type of experience, but we understand that these things could take hours and hours. You've got like 162 games in a season. A lot of people don't have time to play all of those things. So the March to October lets you just play key moments in a season. So you just drop in, you pick a team, and then you drop in for like the end of a game. Maybe there's two innings left. Maybe you've got men on bases and you've got to try to get one of them in to win the game and sort of progress. And there's momentum that's attributed to your success or non-success on the field. So you can get a little hotter or a little colder based on that. And you're trying to win the World Series. So you're trying to get there as quickly as you can, which I think is fantastic. There is also a moments campaign, which I've always loved these things where they create historical moments within the game and they drop you in and, and you get to play as, you know, Babe Ruth for a second or like superstars from golden years in very cool moments. It's all recreated for you. And if you manage to get that home run or if you manage to get a runner in, there's a little bit of a celebration and you access the next moment. But then you're also accessing the rewards that sort of come through all of these different modes, which leads to the uh, Diamond Dynasty mode. And this is where things got a little confusing for me because clearly this is the monetization model on the game. This is the card pack model of MLB The Show 19. You know it's in there. All the sports games have this thing. They took me into the mode for the first time. They took the controls away from me and the cursor just started going to all of the different things to unlock and here's your reward, unlock this, this is your card pack, you, you put it in your locker room, then you take it and you, you put it on over there and I'm, I'm just watching everything, I'm like, am I controlling, what is happening? They're moving everything around here, there's all of this 
detail to kind of, I think, engage you and keep you locked in. There's online play, there's battle royale matches that you can play so you step into the arena and try to get as far as you can. In terms of baseball, nobody's coming at you with guns or anything in this game. Diamond Dynasty was uh, very overwhelming for me. I could see the addiction if you are one of these baseball diehards and you know every single player on every team. Looking at you, Marissa Roberto and Tommy Tellerico. This is for those players out there that just obsess over this particular game and the real life MLB matches and they just want to you know they want to just have the buffet of all of these experiences and just dive into that it was too much for me swing and a miss there's so much depth in this game <sighs> can i breathe okay is it fun hell yeah it's fun it's super fun the batting and the pitching dynamic is incredible i'll tell you it's just as much fun to be the pitcher and pull all kinds of cards out of your sleeve and just uh, surprise the batter, whether you're playing an AI opponent or somebody online or somebody beside you, it's really empowering. Fielding has vastly improved as well, a lot of the animations. I did see every once in a while, my players would be running for a, a ball that just sort of curved. Uh, it, stayed, it stayed fair and then it just sort of hit into the wall and my player would get sort of wedged into a wall and my arm would you know, try to go through. But I can't quibble, man. There is so much detail, so much iconic, imagery all the way through this and beautiful effects with the crowd sort of being in a soft focus way off in the distance and just the sheer size of these crowds in these stadiums is wonderful man and the play-by-play -play is incredible I it just felt like I you know I wanted my my peanuts and my popcorn and I'm just I'm out at a ball game you know it just felt fantastic in the air out to deep left field the menus are crazy, they're cluttered, there's a lot of detail, and of course this is a statistician's game, so there's tons and tons of information and numerical data coming at you after every game that you play, and you're always breaking that down and you're deciding, you know, what players to trade in, when to pull somebody out of the bullpen and put them on the mound, when to put a pinch hitter in there, or take somebody out of the field that might be a little slow against somebody that has a big bat and is going to knock it out way out into the field. I will say that the eyes on the fans in the stands and some of the players and stuff like that, we still have uh, a little bit of a doll eye syndrome. They don't, they don't quite feel alive, but God, the facial animations, the looks of exasperation or elation based on the plays that occur on the field, wonderful stuff, an amazing escape into this. And truly, it looks like people just adore this game. The people that are making this game adore the sport and they want to honor it and they cherish it. It's like getting a ticket to the real thing. It's like going and sitting down in the stadium and just sort of soaking it up. Gardner comes on now and makes the catch. My ball caps off to Sony San Diego. This is an incredible game once again from you guys. I'm giving MLB The Show 19 a 9.5 out of 10.